All right, guys, update. Here's the vanity. It's a quartz countertop. Three drawers on either side. It's got leg extensions we just put on. A uh, little detail on the corner here. Quartz top, like I said. Just so you guys know what's going on here when you order something like this off a of Wayfair. Okay, it's already got a tray cut out and a hole cut out of the back. Now, that hole out back isn't going to be good enough to get my water lines in those access. So we're going to have to drill them out. Now, here's a little tip from a craftsman, okay? First of all, always make sure you get the right sink too. Faucet. Measure your before you go to the store and check your faucet distance. How's it going to throw? You don't want it hitting all the way over here and you don't want it trickling just barely making it. You can always kind of want to hit somewhere around the drain when the water's flowing. I have a good faucet. I'll show it later. Okay. Number one, whenever you're loosening up anything, make sure you're holding it with a wrench on the other side. Okay. This is a channel lock, I call it. I hold it in place there. Hold it in place this way. You don't want to put your wrench on here. This is adjustable. And you always want to go with the way you're loosening it. Okay. Lefty loosey, righty tighty. Okay. Now, I took off the cap, the handle here. See? I'm going to be drilling out. There's this, this, a Phillips screw that's in here. Okay. And you can strip these out. See these little teeth inside? There's little teeth there and there's female teeth here. You take this out, you take this off, okay, water's dripping out of the hose, the valve is holding. Always test and make sure that the hose, when you, before you disconnect it, is holding water, okay? There's a little bit of a meniscus here, you see? And if it's trickling here and there, that's fine, uh, as long as you uh, control it, okay? Keep an eye on it. Now, this is called a scutcheon plate. It's been uh, beaver clipped. <laughs> if you see... I, this is the only way that I can get this off on this one. I left it together so you can see what I'm doing. See how nice? That's for the pedestal sink. So that's a decorative scutcheon plate. It goes up against the sheetrock to, to cover the hole in the wall. Okay? There's one here too. It's a scutcheon plate. Okay? That thickness, the depth of this, is going to hold my cabinet off the wall. And I'm not cutting that hole in the back of the cabinet for these water lines. Okay, this is the cold and hot water lines. I'm going to have to drill a hole somewhere in this area. I want this cabinet to go flush up tight to the wall. i got to put a screw through it to catch the studs. That's another thing. Mark your studs. Find out where your studs are before you start. And make a little piece of tape or something so you know. Um, I also had, jumping around a little bit, I had a uh, nice towel racks on either side of the pedestal sink. That's the bracket. Now, what do you think I'm going to do with this? Okay. To be continued, but I got an idea for this. Because as you can see, I have an encroachment issue with that rack. So there's, there's things to watch. Okay. Stay tuned. I'm going to make sure that I have the right size hole saw in this ammo can. Okay. Hold on, nobody. The ammo can is not really ammo. Okay. I'm going to try to find the right size hole saw and I want to zip this as clean and as nice as possible just to get in, into the cabinet without making a huge weevil hole here. Okay. It's hard to understand if you guys never done this before. This is normally like a plumber's job and a, an interior guy's job doing kitchens and bathrooms, but I want to show you how I'm going to tackle this. Okay. I can't change the fact that there's a hole here. But I can try to be neat about the next one that I drill. Um, so stay tuned, okay? Thanks for watching. Uh, there'll probably be a part two uh, when I start putting the faucet in, okay? Normally, if the counter is not secured to the cabinet, I like to put the faucet on first. <clears throat> I like to leave, lean the whole countertop on its back and assemble the whole faucet before, but this is already glued down. So I'm going to have to work upside down inside this cabinet to get the faucet put together, which is fine. I mean, that's what you normally do when you put a faucet in if you're not doing a cabinet but or a countertop. But stay tuned.